need a high-end designer or a lot of money to get a luxe look. Be your own interior designer. This is Affordable Interior Design, the podcast. Here's your host, Betsy Hellman. My first question today comes from Sabrina. Sabrina writes, hi, Betsy. I live in New York City. I have to buy window curtains and rods. Where do you buy this? Beep. (laughs) I think I want a double curtain rod, but I am overwhelmed. West Elm, Target, Home Depot, and then the curtains. I want beautiful, drapey, heavy material, but am I insane? I was thinking velvet, but then I ordered samples off Etsy and they are cheap AF. Curtain and curtain rod suggestions, please. Help! Sabrina, I'm happy to help. All right, first of all, I like the Cambria Collection rods, and you can get those at Bed Bath & Beyond. The reason I like the Cambria Collection rods, and I typically go with their classic complete brand or line, the reason I like those rods is because they have um, a wide array of finials, which are the decorative end caps that you can add. They also have a wide array of sizes. The price point is great. And if you've listened to this podcast, you know that I hate rods that are under one inch in diameter. Anything under one inch in diameter is not a rod. It's like a pencil. It's like a dowel. It's lame and looks scrawny and really shouldn't be holding up anything besides a tapestry. I don't know. Definitely not heavy velvet drapes. So you're going to want to make sure that when you purchase a rod, you get at least one inch in diameter or thicker, especially with those heavy, heavy drapes. Now you want a double rod, and I do want to challenge that. If you've read my book in chapter nine, you will see things that I hate, right? You will see the naughty word list and shears, the thing that you would hang on that second rod, the rod that's inside, then you'd hang those thick velvet drapes on the outside. Shears are like granny panties for your window. They're ill-fitting, blousey. Sometimes they even flop out from behind the drape. They just look bad. And they add a lot of volume. You are already going to have a lot of volume with these thick velvet drapes. So when you're adding another bulk of fabric behind it, it's just going to be a lot of density. Are you sure you want to do that? Instead, you know... Well, let me, before I say instead, let me just say the one time when I do like to use shears as well as a drape. I'll use shears as well as a drape if I need blackout sometimes or, you know, if I want things to be very dark sometimes, but I also want privacy and translucency. So sometimes I want the light to come through, but I don't want people to see me. That's when I would draw just the shears. And sometimes if I'm watching a movie or if I have a guest over trying to sleep or if it's my primary bedroom, I would shut the drapes to get that blackout or darker effect. That is one way to do it. And it's nice and affordable. But I tend instead to do blinds. Blinds give me the ability to manipulate and transfuse the light and determine if I want some privacy, some light diffusion. I prefer a blind. And then in front, you would put that velvet drape. You would manipulate the blind when you want to manipulate the light. But when you want that blackout or darkness, you just shut the drapes. So that's my reference because I do understand that you want to control the type of light and you want to make sure to have different experiences throughout the day depending on what you're doing. Makes perfect sense, but I think having the double rod with the drapes and shears is just too much fabric. But you've decided to do drapes and shears. I've given you the Cambria Collection classic complete line. Uh, I also like Crate and Barrels. Uh, rods. West Elm is fine, but a little pricey. Um, Pottery Barn is really nice, but again, very pricey. So if you're looking for that really good value and nice diameter rod with a lot of different 
um, capabilities because they have L brackets, they have extension rods with this line, they have inside mount brackets. I just love this line for so many reasons. You'll want to head over to Bed Bath & Beyond and check those out. Well, Sabrina, let me know what you go with. I am really excited to see how this window comes out. Oh, I forgot the second half of your question. The second half of your question is about where to get great velvet drapes. High quality, great velvet drapes are going to be very expensive. You're going to want to look at places like Restoration Hardware, right? Where you get that top of the line experience. You get several velvets to choose from. You could also look at Smith & Noble because they have a wide range of different fabrics that come in different categories in terms of price point and luxuriousness. Is that a word? Luxuriousness? Uh, so you'd look there for more selection and to get that premium quality product. Additionally, with Smith & Noble, you could get a wide variety of samples. If you're looking for a more affordable price point that still has fairly good quality, I would look at Pottery Barn. I tend, when I'm shopping for drapes, to look at places like Overstock, Wayfair. If you are on a budget, you may try some of them at those retailers because they do have a wide variety to choose from. So you could make sure to read the reviews, make sure to read the weight, uh, look at those different things as you're considering whether to purchase. But I also love working with those retailers because of their free returns policy. No harm, no foul. It just takes you a little extra time to order those, see if you like them, but you may save hundreds of dollars going that route. Sabrina, now I've answered all your questions. Now you're all set. And again, you'll keep us posted. A big thank you to Aton and the Embassy who wrote our theme song. A shout out to Catherine Heller who owns the podcast shop and is our editor extraordinaire. We also want to thank Ginny Sunnison and her team at the Savvy Podcast Agency for their help with our social, our YouTube channel, and so much more. We also want to thank Uploft, which is our parent company who supports this podcast. And lastly, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all your support. <music>